Hi, and welcome back to an episode of Carrie Cubed, where I give you three tips. That's right, three tips on how to optimize your social media. Now, I am wearing my overcoat. It's not actually because it's freezing. It's because I interviewed a social meteorologist, Jennifer Watson, on my podcast, All the Social Ladies, and it got me thinking a lot, not just about the weather, but about how to hyper-localize content. You can imagine at the Weather Channel, weather that's happening all across the country and the globe is certainly hyper-local. These are not things that are taking place. What's relevant in California is not necessarily relevant in New York, right? So we have to think about how to hyper-localize content, and Jennifer got me thinking about this. And so I thought about how we might use this for some of our brands. And so the first thing that we want to look at when we're doing this is assembling an army. One way to do this is how Jennifer does it, where she has local meteorologists at every single town and county and city and state, and they all report in. It feeds into her, and she has this army that she's then able to channel and report. That's one option, particularly for a larger brand or a brand with many, many representatives across the country. But there's another way to do that, too. One way to do it is simply listening locally. Social media allows you to listen by region and tell you what's happening in what place, and not even just what's happening, but how they like to communicate. I know we've done that for a lot of brands where we know that somebody in LA talks about food entirely differently than somebody in New York. It's a, just a different experience. So when you listen across the web for how people are talking, it helps you create content that's infinitely, infinitely better. The last piece that I would encourage for you to do is to test your core markets. Pick a couple of markets that you think you might want to focus on with a hyper-local approach and test there. In fact, I might not even take your biggest market at first. I might take your secondary market because if you test there and you get a learning, it'll provide you with a killer launch for a hyper-local campaign in the markets that matter most. Have a great week.